Hello everyone, we have our news for the week, so let's take a look. Maintenance is normal time as usual. I didn't see anything ending directly with maintenance, but it does look like they are closing the shop that they reopened for the purple uh, Clash of Wills Obnixus drops that we got by mistake. Uh, pretty much maintenance uh, when this video goes up afterwards, so we got like a day or something to finish spending those before that closes. It's only a thousand that we got by mistake, but it's enough to buy something at least. So if you want to use those, make sure that's done pretty much uh, before reset. And then uh, new this week, we're getting Ruse. So we get a log in there, 30 shards as usual. He's not premium. His shards are in the shop. Uh, his vision card, same as Laswell that we just got. So they share the same card. We've already seen that. We are actually getting an event. So they're giving us the Advent of Purgatory Rush. So essentially this is some of the Advent of Purgatory bosses. And we get to fight them all in a row. So it looks like they uh, might have us do them one at a time to learn the fights. And then the last one is going to be a nine fights rush. And then we get some rewards for uh, doing everything. So no death at all and 30 turns looks like the goals. So this should be pretty fun. It's been a little bit since we've gotten uh, something nice like that. So we'll definitely run through that, have some fun with it. Shouldn't be too bad with the current units that we have overall. And then for a banner, so we got Azure and Crimson Blades Roost, which the name is kind of funny because Azure and Crimson makes you think of ice and fire damage, and he does water. Uh, banner, pretty boring overall. Nine tickets to pity. No global boost at all for him. So at EX3, we get 500 flat attack materia for elite soldiers. Uh, Super Trust, accessory, 91 attack, 34 defense, 13 spirit. He gets 500 flat attack. Everybody else can get the 5% mana and 4 limit crystals per turn. Pretty decent accessory. Uh, regular Trust is Materia, 70% attack, 50% aquatic and machine killer. Always nice to see attack on killer Materias. Uh, leader Skill is 1000 attack and magic, 200 defense and spirit for water category only. And they do show off that he does have a water and earth field. So no changes, we can take a look at the JP side for him. So he's got Paralyzed Resist, a little bit of Water Resist. Pretty standard uh, stuff that we expect, so EX2 for his 500 boost. Does have a 400 as well, cooldown with the 120 limit modifier. A Double Mirage for the party is super nice. Some chain moves that we don't care about too much. He can give himself some tag team for a couple of his things, which is pretty handy. We've seen a couple of units that do that. Got a cooldown, Absolute Mirror Chain. So it looks like it's set up for a triple, 3,000 total modifier. He's got Magnus, so 200 human and machine killer for himself and one ally. Water and earth imbues for himself. So his field is 70% both water and earth, which is kind of nice. Uh, six turn cooldown with five turns up. So just about always uptime. It's, his only boost is 100%, but it is for the whole party, though. So it's 100% Water and Earth for three turns to the whole party. So that is nice. He doesn't have a self-150. So you dual-wheel unit with the extra cap. Got a little bit of chain speed as well. He does have the... Uh, First five turn limit modifier there, which is nice. It looks like he can boost. Yeah, he can give a modifier on top of his uh, cooldown absolute mirror. That's nice for trials and stuff.
So let's see, for the limit, so his regular limit, we get 130 water down, 80 defense break, 200 attack buff, 150 limit damage boost. Pretty standard, we've seen that in most of the units lately. Uh, 630 water locked modifier, absolute mirror chains. So being locked to water is a little bit of a downside. As far as the super goes, all the buffs and debuffs are the same. Modifier goes up to 730. Still water locked though. So overall, his damage should be fairly decent. He's not going to beat the 8th Anniversary units and the, the top guys, but he's not terrible either. Main thing holding him back is probably that he's locked to water. He is also a Season 4, though, and some decent uh, categories on him. I just find the naming a little bit funny with him being mainly water with the Ice and Fire name. And that's pretty much all the news we have. Not that we were expecting all that much overall, but we do have a new event coming. So we'll have some fun, seeing uh, we just had farming stuff lately. Run through that and see what we can do there. Uh, as far as pulls, not sure what I'm going to do for pulls for the week. If I am or not yet, we'll decide later on on that. But uh, that's pretty much all the news we have. So I'll definitely run through the Purgatory Rush. Depending on how easy it is, I don't know if I'll do more teams or not than just the best I can run. We'll have to see. But we're going to end this video here. Hope everybody enjoyed.